Hey everybody, hope all is well. So ATC, time about those comments. I did this video. Another black woman gone. Pregnant mom of a nine-year-old shot seven times in front of her son. Seven times in front of her son. Forever Lux Design says no matter how many receipts, statistics, news stories, balloon releases, these women refuse to walk away. We want black women and children to be safe. Unfortunately, they want to be the sacrifice of black men. Wow. That's the part about it. I think what is happening is, and I just saw a video. Um, it was Tanya TKO clips. And she said something that was very interesting. People don't listen. She said, a lot of young women, basically, they don't want to listen to older women. Oh, no. And I think that's it. Oh, I already know everything. Oh, okay. Okay. You, you, you think so? Learn the hard way. But see, at this point, it's either a st we're either being delusional or I think they all think, oh, that happened to her. Oh, it's not going to happen to me. Oh, he's not going to do that to me, girl. Oh, not, not my man. Uh -uh. I know my man loves me. I'm sure many of them thought that. And I thought about it. Can you imagine this woman being unalived by this thing? Imagine being unalived and shot by the man. By this time, it's too late. Not one, two, three times, seven times. What's he doing? You, you know what he's doing. How he's in Rancid. So let me get it straight. This dude knew she had way more potential in life than him. And he's seen his rap career wasn't going anywhere. So he decided to power, power her multiple times. He probably thought, uh oh, my, this rap career ain't working out for me. I'm going to have to get a job. They got to put me on child support. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. He's not about to get a job. Why? He's got to be in that studio, ladies. He may not can rap. But I got to get in that studio and I got to give him my best shot. You can't be messing up a hustler's dream. I be hustling, hustling, man. Delusional. I wonder what, if he had a job besides a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I wants to be a rapper, totally got it. Yeah, yeah. What's your income? So he might have saw her as a threat. What the guy said, I'm supposed to be popping, but that child support got him. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm supposed to be popping. So he might, I think it's all about the child support. You're going to have a negative impact on my rapping career. Oh, the hell you are not, girl, because I got to get my rap on. I'm sorry. I can't let you do this to me. And then you see what happens. She said, this woman seen the red flags before this and still decided to get impregnated by a bone. Something I will never understand is how a woman can just look over the signs of trouble, all in the name of love, and he wasn't even handsome. Okay, it looked like his name should have been Kermit, but okay. Kermit. I think women think, sometimes I think women, they'll take a lower man on a lower level. Knowing he's on a lower level, but see, here's the thinking process. Look at me, I'm pretty, may have more going on. He's going to try and level up. He's, he's not. A many one has tried that beautiful educated the whole a uh, many one has tried it yo it hasn't worked yet i'm just saying a uh, many one has tried that thinking he gonna get it together Let, he's not he gonna dust up and when responsibility hits him in the face he might act up and shoot up wow nana ain't in 4731 said one of the problems is they're desperate they can't read and don't know how to be self-sufficient yes here's the video I did yesterday about the one saying uh try to go with the woman and have relations with her and then if she has to go to work then you know you stay sleep and guess what never leave post up you gotta be kidding me why probably can barely read don't know how to be self-sufficient so breaking up means they're out in the streets that's the part and so much more a lot of young women don't get exactly. I appreciate you for putting out this content. Keep up the good work. You never know who you're going to educate before it's too late. Child, please, I'm hoping we can save a life. These men are not responsible. That's why the community looks the way it does. And when you get pregnant, you pretty much 
what was it uh, Lady Fox said about you pretty much uh, accelerating your death date? Hate to say it, it sounds kind of scary, but yeah, look what's happened. She's no longer here. Why? Uh, Leslie, they're thinking their boyfriend did it. So you are. Get pregnant by one. Okay. Nice knowing you. You are pretty much. I get it. Accelerating your death date. These fools are not playing with you. They don't want to be responsible. And get and a rapper. Oh my gosh. That shouldn't have been a clue, ladies. Beta 007 said, so I don't understand either. There's no benefits of being a baby mama at all. It brings so much chaos in the mother and the child's life. Hello. All on you. It can also bring you some bullets too. But they'll be ready to box up on you. Ain't nothing wrong being a baby mama. Mind your business. So what? Uh huh. Okay, Buttercup. Legacies aren't built around baby mama. Poverty is. I did a video. I got to go, but I'm going to try and uh, link it up to over here. It's about to get real, real out here. People in all these jobs. Have you heard about the ghost jobs? Oh, I confirmed that. Because here I am thinking, you know, you can't believe everything you see. A lot is going on. I was just telling a friend of mine, um, something is truly going on here. I'm not buying it. For example, some of the banks reported earnings and all oh, the banks are doing super well and super great. Uh-huh. But the banks are also doing a little something strange that I don't quite understand. Okay. What am I talking about? I noticed lately. You can connect accounts, transfer money around, and normally it goes like lightning fast. Hell, crypto is faster. All of a sudden now, and we're just talking about transferring little money. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Send this over here. A cash app. What the hell taking so long with the cash app, boo? What's going on with it? I'm sending something. What you mean they go through? The money's surely in the account. I'm sending money over here. Normally post boom just like that, man, within minutes. Now, it's deciding to take the, instead of the freeway, it's starting to go horse and carriage. What's taking so long? And then a friend of mine was saying the same thing about his girlfriend was saying the same thing. I said, these banks aren't doing all what they say that they are. Again, I'll put the link in for the other, uh, other channel, Simply Said too. Let's talk about these ghost jobs. I already confirmed it. You got to be freaking kidding me about this. You, you got to be playing with me. I already confirmed it with HR, with, with a company with HR. So all these people not finding jobs, it's not your fault. Because baby doll, sometimes the job is not even real. They are playing with us. Do you hear me? They are full of BS. Some, you heard me. Sometimes the job, baby, it is not even real. Sometimes the job does not even exist. I'm like, let me see what's going on with this here. Something is strange. I'm going to get on the phone. Well, let's talk. I know somebody at HR, so what, what's really going on? So if one company is doing it, more than likely they all are doing it. Again, who does this? Either a job is there or it's not. Ghost jobs make you think it is a job. All these jobs I hear is all BS, y'all. It's all BS. What's my point of mentioning? Things are really going to change and it's not going to get any better. These dudes are going to get crazier. They're already not wrapped too tight dust buckets. They're going to get extra. They're going to come a little bit extra. Extra dangerous. Concerned about how they're going to make it. It ain't no joke. It's going to get crazier. What are they going to do? Don't know. Don't know. So when all these ladies call themselves, oh, he, gonna, he got potential. I'm going to go ahead and have a baby by. I'm not going to take a call. You really shouldn't even let him in your life. I don't understand. These dudes need to be qualified. They don't qualify. So then when these things start happening, don't be surprised they start going crazy on you. Don't be surprised they start going crazy on you. This is who they are. This is what they do. You are pretty much playing Russian roulette with your life. Truth for sir, truth sir for life says true. It said this behavior goes beyond the BC because all kinds are finding out from their sons, the kings. All kinds are giddy for these conquered barn boys. And they can have them. And they taking them too. They taking them too. Helena said... 
They slow learners. If you have two kids and didn't marry, black understand is chaos and confusion. Exactly. And whatever goes on, it's going to be on the woman. Where what she should have done, what she should have known. He's protected. Oh, he's straight up protected. He ain't got to worry. Again, I I don't know what more it can take. But everybody thinks, oh, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be me until it is. Uh, Until it is. I'm sure someone had told her a beautiful thing. Guess what, honey? Come next week. You're not going to be here at the hands of your man. Papa wouldn't believe it. Papa would have shrugged it off. You know, all of it. You're crazy. Well, unfortunately, now we know. Now we know. We don't have to guess. Now we know. I I just, you know, what, what more does it take? You're basically playing Russian roulette with your life. What does Blackistan have to offer, baby mama? Some chaos and confusion. No protection. Offer you some danger. That's what it has to offer you. And anything that goes wrong, it's on you. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So a runaway slave said, you're having a hard time understanding why some women choose these men because you don't understand what mental slavery is. Some women really don't believe that they can get or deserve better this will never end. And I guess she's right. I don't want, I just can't comprehend it. To a fault. He barely got a GED. We trying to add out the dude and come out of MIT, graduated from MIT. And that's the sad thing. It's not going to end, but hopefully somebody will wake up and smell a coffee. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's like running, keep on driving your car and keep on running that red light and the car keep on crashing out, keep on crashing out. And somebody's still going to run that red light. Running down the road, hey, that road is totally washed out. Hey, it's a cliff. And if you drive off the cliff, you're going to be gone. Still hopping in the ride at full speed. Can't nobody tell me nothing, tell me nothing. A lot of the young ones think that, but okay. Oh, okay. I wish you well. That's the sad thing. How many videos do we need? I mean, it's on the news. It's all around. You can't miss it. It'll never end. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start educating your daughters about these men, about the community, about life. It's time to start having the conversations. Your granddaughters, your nieces, somebody who will listen. Because this here, it's never, it's never ending. And all we're looking at, they're just creating fatherless homes, fatherless homes, orphans. Oh, you got your life together? Hi, well, take these two kids. Say what? Fatherless homes, fatherless homes, orphanage. Somebody, oh, hey, how you doing? Can you take in this child? Because so-and-so got killed by her boyfriend. This is crazy. Then that person may have a dream to go to school, have a business. All of a sudden, they stepped into motherhood. Stepped into motherhood. Didn't even plan on it. Yeah, but it's here for you, baby. Hadn't planned on this, you think? Anyway, that's what happens. See the Dusties? They bring drama, death, and trauma. The financial implications is two members of the nation. And then if you notice, then what they do because of uh, the dynamics of our community, all they do, even if a black woman does not have children, you got so many black women sitting up here now taking care of children and has them birthed not a one. Controlled her womb, but guess what? Now you got to go ahead and pick up the seed of poverty. Why? Because he done unalived the mama, the baby mama, or he's in jail. He done took both of them out. So now what happens? Here comes a knock on wood. Hey, how you doing? Find another black woman and go ahead and ruin her plans. Welcome to contamination land. Even in our families, you see this kind of stuff going on. What happened? Many black women sitting up here ain't had one child, and what's going on? They sitting up here playing mama. Gotta go ahead and take care of a kid. Why? See the poverty, D? See the effect? It's like a domino effect. It's not just him and his baby mama situation. Next thing you know, somebody's life gotta be uprooted. Why? Because of the seed of poverty, D, he strikes again. Now somebody gotta turn around and take care of these children and these children and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what they do, and that's why the community can't grow. 
And that's why some people, I hate to tell you, some people are onto it. They're tired. We're adults. We all make the decisions. That's why some people are saying no. They're not having it. Last thing Howie's and Ranch said when I mentioned that some people are saying no, I, I get it because that's a whole lot to take on. This woman was in her 30s. By that point, she's seen plenty of life and had experiences. It's no excuse at that age to be dating a lost cause rapper with no job. Heck, on the Kendrick show, I see women younger than her who know they're worth demanding that a guy bring a certain amount of money to the table. He got potential. Oldest pimp line popping. He got potential. Yeah, right. How is that potential going to work out? How many more will it take to get the message? I don't understand. How many more will it take? How many more will it take? Don't keep on just dealing with these men, low performers. They sh they've shown you. I mean, seriously, I don't know what more to say. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out. Times are going to get harder, and I think I'm afraid these dusties are going to get deadlier. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.